everyone, it's me and today's video is Bit Ideas and this is the fourth attempt of making this video so hope to God I can do it without interruptions. Okay, and these bad ideas are just my bad ideas that I thought I could do. Turned out no, no, couldn't do it. <laughs> so my first bad, bad idea was a couple years ago I was watching this YouTuber called Freely the Banana Girl and she was vegan and she made vegan look easy and I was like, yeah, I can go vegan. I hardly eat, you know, too much byproducts anyway. No, no. Elizabeth loves cheese. Elizabeth loves bacon. Elizabeth loves pizza. Elizabeth hates coconut water. And I hate bananas. Like she ate like 12 to 15 bananas a day. I can only eat like one every month or two. I don't even like bananas. Not enough to eat 12 a day. That's disgusting. No. Second bit idea was, oh, the story is so tragic, and I haven't like I've only told a few people, and now I'm telling the whole world. So please bear with me. In the eighth grade, I was listening to my friends because I had this crush on this guy that was like a couple grades above me, and he was cute and he was dumb, and I was like, cute and dumb, yeah, no, no, no. They, it was in I grad class. I hate this so much. I hate saying this story. Well, anyway, I like this guy, and and I got across my friend Danielle and another friend of ours, or hers, or acquaintance, or whatever. This girl was a popular girl in school, and I tried everything to be just like her, just so I can get friends, and it never worked. As you could tell, high school was a horrible, horrible fate. Just idea to send anyone like me, okay? But... She was friends with this dude, and they were. He was in the eye grad class with us, and I was like, yeah. And he he thought, it thought they all three of them thought it'd be cool to play a joke on me, and have him to ask me to go to the Valentine's dance, and I was really excited. And then he breaks up with me the next, you know, unless he breaks up with me, but tells me straight up he never wanted to take me to the dance anyway. The next class period, and I cried all through English. <laughs> all through English because I, I broke my heart and, and they set me up and I thought these people were kind and nice to me or my friends and they weren't and to listen to them and to trust them was a bad idea. Yeah. So that's why I don't have friends now. <laughs> Except for the select few that I do have. I thought, oh, the whole, the whole situation was a bad idea. And I hope they learned their lesson in breaking my heart like that. All three of them. I really hope so. Even though it's, it was 12 years ago, I hope you guys are watching this and still understand that this really still bothers me because I trusted you. Anyway, <laughs> ah, next bad idea. <clears throat> that was probably a bad idea. <laughs> no, um, my next bad idea was, I like I said, the girl from the previous story, she was popular and everything, and I tried to be just like her. Like... I was Lizzie McGuire, and she was Kate, and everybody wanted to be just like Kate, so th th there's your scenario. That was, you know, except for Kate Saunders was Lizzie McGuire's enemy. I wanted to be like her. I wanted to be, have friends like her. I wanted to be pretty and, and accepted like her. Anyway, and I think it was our seventh grade year. Or maybe it was 8th grade. I think it was still 8th grade. Eighth, as you could tell, 8th grade was a bad year for me. Um, she had this sweater that I really liked. And it was really pretty and stuff. And I was like, wow, I really like that sweater thing. I, I, I should get one. And my mom actually got me that sweater for my birthday, but in a different color. And so I wore it because my birthday was on a weekend that year. So I wore it that Monday. And she also wore hers. And she never her wore her sweater again because I was wearing something just like it, just in a different color. Yeah, so. Huh. Another bad idea is to not let your friends who are agnostically loud in high school tell you, them, don't tell them who your crush is because they, if they're loud, if they're anything like my friends were in high school, the whole courtyard will know. The whole courtyard. They will make fun of you and then yeah, it's just, no. No. Even, like, the same guy. This is all 8th grade year. Honestly, I'm just ranting about 8th grade year because it was bad. <laughs> the same guy that I had a crush on that 8th grade year. Different guy from the Valentine's Dance story. I made him an angel cake with crushed pineapples in it. And I put it in the, um, 
<clears throat> frosting too. And he really enjoyed it, but like he thought I was just getting too, I guess, trying too hard to be with him, even though he didn't have the heart to tell me that it wasn't ever going to happen because like he was a senior and I was in eighth grade. You see what I'm saying? Me had high high hopes and everything. He had the logical brain. Okay, thank God someone did. <laughs> but he sent this girl to come chew me out, make me feel like, you know, I was inferior. And she played along. She was like pointing at me and just, you know, getting in my face. But as she was pointing and getting at my face, she was like, I'm just acting this way. So people think that I'm actually getting on to you, but I really like you. You're a sweet girl. This He's not interested, you know. She's very, very kind. Actually, she's my neighbor now. But uh, just, yeah. If you have a crush on somebody, just keep it to yourself in high school. Please, please, don't write it on a notebook or anything. Just keep it to yourself. Please, keep it to yourself. Another bad idea is that I had is just because it's cute and fluffy and you found it and it's abandoned and no one doesn't have a home does not mean you should bring it home. Because you ain't got the time to potty train that. Most likely it's a dog, okay? And if it's a feral cat, don't don't go after it. It's gonna scratch the shit out of your arms. Leave it the fuck alone. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I've I've had so many bad ideas. I don't even know where to begin and end. You know, I may have to put this in a two part video. <laughs> like I think I can come up with one one last bad idea that I had. Okay, yeah, no, I had a bad idea. Here's one, here's one. I I was dating this guy back in high school, and we dated on and off hmm, a couple years. And I got mad at him for something dumb. Called him every name in the book. Yeah, girls, it's, it's a bad idea to let your emotions get to you when you really care for somebody. Don't do that. It's not a good idea. Not a good idea. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> I think that's about it, guys. It's, I hope you find some of my stories hysterical. And, and I, I hope when you guys, if you guys are in high school right now or, you know, junior high and you... These stories, you will look back on and just laugh at. Life isn't as hard as you think it is. And here in a couple of years, be like, what the fuck was I thinking? Yeah. So I hope this video brought y'all some laughs. And um, if you like it, please hit the thumbs up button. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new. And if you guys have any questions or suggestions, please leave it in the comments below. And I will, I will get to them as quickly as possible. Even make videos of your suggestions. Just let me know. Alright, thanks. I'll see y'all whenever I want to now because I just said fuck it to schedules. Alright, bye.